back to another video on this channel. I am going to be doing an unboxing of Freya's Cauldron today. So this is the April box. So this is what it looks like. It comes in a little parcel bag and just this kind of bag. Um, and it's a monthly subscription that you can sign up for. Um, it costs £25, I believe. I will put all the information about price, cost, where it ships to and everything like that in the information box below. So if you want to find out any details about the box, then by all means have a check there. You can also get things from the website themselves. So they do have an actual um, store um, where you can buy certain items obviously some things in the box are limited to the box but there are other things um, that are sort of similar or inspired that you can also purchase from the store they do have a subscriber shop as well so if you've missed any collections that you collect in the boxes and like if you're a new subscriber and there's anything that you've missed you can actually purchase other things which is really nice um, so you can get like the full selection so I will be um, getting into the video and we will um, be starting to unbox this box. Okay, so the first thing we get in is a full list of products that we get in here. So it just tells you about usually the theme of the box. So this is actually their fifth anniversary of starting the monthly subscription boxes because they started in 2017. That's pretty cool. Um, I haven't been subscribed since that. I subscribed was it Yule 2020? Um, I have no idea with time. Time has just gone so crazy these past couple of years, so I have absolutely no sense of time at the minute. But I think it was Yule 2020, which is when I actually first started getting the subscription. But this box is all about protection and belting. Okay, so first off we get a little envelope of Book of Shadows pages. These did used to come separate but now they have put them in envelopes in the last few boxes um, which I do actually quite like because it means that um, they're together a little bit more and they don't get as like battered. Not that they really did get battered but sometimes they'd maybe be a little bit bent around things. These just seem to keep them a little bit more together. So we have some information on magical protection so we've got crystals for protection herbs for protection protection oils witches ladders witches bells witches balls amulets sigils and poppets and some little information about them so they're really nice just to pop in your book of shadows um they are a five size um as well so i actually just put them in a little a5 book that i've got um and just um add them to those so i will show you them at the end of the video just so you can see what i'm talking about um and then we have an information sheet on aura quartz so this is likely to be the crystal that we get this month so that is there and then the other one is bind runes or a bind rune. Okay, so that's that one there. So we have a little envelope here which is probably one of the altar tiles. Um, so these are one of the collection items, so like I say, if you are a new subscriber to the boxes and you want to receive any of these, um, as long as there's still some available, they are available to purchase in the store. So this is obviously the Beltane one here, I don't know if you can see that. Um, and you can actually colour these in as well, I have used some of them, um, I have coloured some of them in with like pens um, before, so you just need really fine nibbed pens. Um, but that's really nice. And then we have a protection poppet doll kit here. Okay, so we have an instruction sheet, an information sheet on how we are actually doing that. Um, and actually it shows you how to do a blanket stitch there which is pretty cool because most of these things just assume that you know how to sew and some people don't, myself included. Um, I just do like a really messy stitch usually because uh, I don't know what I'm doing but we get two pieces of fabric so it's all pre-cut and ready for you to make into 
a poppet, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. I don't think I've actually made a protection poppet before. I've made, like, not like a person shaped one. I've made, like, pouches in certain shapes, but not actually in a person shape. So, that'll be cool. Oh, the other thing is Witch's Bells Kit. This sounds interesting. Sorry for all the rustling. Oh gosh. So we have some bells. So we have three bells. Some string, look, rope cord string stuff and an instruction sheet on how to do it so all right so we just do them into like a loop with the little bells on there and then there's a little spell enchantment to actually put on there which is pretty cool i like that they have like the actual photos of how to actually put things together um and a bit more instructions rather than just assuming that you know what it is based on a description i i like pictures of stuff um i just prefer that like in a recipe book you know when they don't have a picture of what it's supposed to look like at the end of it i don't like that so i much prefer pictures so um this is the bind rune spell kit so we've got a few spell kits here actually, this is quite interesting. Um, and then we have a bind rune here, I'm assuming that's what that is. Okay, so we have some herbs for this, uh, herb blend for this in here um, we have the charm and then there is a purple candle that we'll need which will be in the subscription box and then we are doing a protection charm attached to this so there is some information on how to do that on there which is pretty interesting lots of things to do here um, i don't think previous boxes we've quite had these many like rituals and stuff because there is another one here as well um, so there's like three things here already and then there's a ritual as well um, which is pretty interesting. So this is the May Queen ritual. So this is our belting themed thing. Just ripped a giant hole in that one. <laughs> okay. So we have a piece of green ribbon, a green candle, and an information sheet what we're doing so we need the green candle the ribbon and then we need to collect twigs leaves and flowers from our in nature and then okay so this is just preparing okay so this is preparing an altar for the may queen basically and preparing an offering for the May Queen tree, I think. I'm sure I'll have to have a proper read of that because uh, there's a few steps to this, I think. But um, that seems pretty interesting. Um, it's got a little bit of a mark on, I think, from the candle, um, like the oils and the candle must have, or whatever material colouring. That the candles made of has kind of gone through onto that page but it's not a problem okay. it sounds quite interesting though so i'm quite excited for that beltane is one of my favorite sabbats um so i'm quite excited that we have quite a few things to do tied to this sabbat so definitely happy with that one so what else do we have in here so we have another collection item so we have quite a few of these already, um, so I think we must be coming towards the end of these now. I can't remember when we first started getting them. I'm pretty sure we still we got some for like Lamas and Lunasar and things like that. So I think we must be finishing off. I think is there, did we even get one for the summer solstice? This might even be the last one. I can't remember now. Um, 
but this is the Beltane one. So like I say, with any of these collection items like this, you can actually purchase things like this from the shop. Um, I'm pretty sure this will be on there as well, but it's the subscription shop, not the normal stock store shop thing um so you need to actually join the subscriber group and then get like an access link through that um to actually shop through that and then you create like a little an account on there um because i did buy some of the older book of shadows pages that we had before um so the next item in here is witch's protection salt i'm not going to open this just because I feel like it'll end up going anywhere and everywhere but I don't think there is actually any information sheet in there it just feels like it's the salt um so that I'm assuming will be an ingredient that you use within the protection ritual um which is pretty nice and I feel like you can always use protection salt okay the next item that we have here is the bind room herb blend um I think we have this twice because I'm pretty sure there was a herb blend in the actual kit that, to do with the binder. So we have this twice, I think, um, unless this is maybe slightly different. Um, but I'm assuming this is um, one tied to protection as well. Um, but yeah, they now come in these little jars as well, the herbs. So we always get a herb in the box as well, which is really nice. And this is how they come now, which I think is really nice because... Um, I don't have lots of big jars to put things in and these are just an ideal size they're quite a usable workable amount they're not too much um that you've got loads of herbs that are kind of going off and well not going off but you know they get like a bit the scent disappears and they're just like old um like you can then fill them up as well so quite a nice way of doing it this one is the crystal in here so they always give us a crystal as well so i think this was the was it aura quartz this one, I think I have pieces of different types of aura quartz, but this is, it. I think the, it's a bit blurry on the camera, I'm not sure, but you can see the colours, I'm pretty sure. Um, but that's that one, which is quite a nice one. I've got quite a lot in this box, I feel like. Um, then we also have our candles, so we have... Um, so, sorry I just saw a pop up come up on the screen I'm on my phone but it's nothing it's fine um, so we have these candles um, so a little bit more like earthy themed ones there's the purple candle there for the um, whatever charm it was that w we were doing I can't remember which one called for a purple candle there's a black candle there which I'm assuming is one that we could also use for working with the protection ones and then these ones I'm assuming are more so tied to Beltane with having a green candle and the brown candle for those earthy kind of tones and then the white candle possibly again for protection but you always get a nice selection of candles in there as well which I really like and the next item we have is the candle dressing oil so this again is the bind runes um, one here um, I'm not going to open this because I don't need it at the minute and I always seem to end up making these leak sometimes. Well, I don't always end up making them leak, but sometimes I've ended up making a few of them leak. So I won't open it until I actually need to use it because um, I can never really tell what scents in them anyway. So it's kind of pointless opening it, but they come like this. So we always usually get an oil as well um, for candle dressing. And the next thing we have is a little box, which I think is the only other thing in here as well. So this is again a bind room box. This is very, very light. I expected it to be heavy, but it almost feels like polystyrene weight, but obviously it's not. It's wood. Um, I'm not sure what type of wood it is, but obviously a very lightweight wood. Um, put that on there. But yeah. That is the lid there, so it's got your runes on and the bind rune there. So, um, I'm assuming you could use it to put like a protection blend in there and use it as a protection protection box. Put it on an area where you want to kind of have as a protective point of your house. Um, but I really like these um, kind of wood designs on these I don't know what the names of them are sorry I sound really stupid is it like wood burning I can't remember the exact um, proper terminology for it but I do like these designs and like these ones as well 
but yeah I think that is everything that's in the box let me just have a quick check yeah, I think that's everything so um, I really quite like this box um, I think we have quite a lot of um, different spells and rituals in here um, so I do think that is quite a good um, selection of things in there um, and yeah um, I quite like this box as well so I would definitely recommend it um, I am sad that we don't have any more of the goddesses um, I did like the goddess plaques um, but we only did about six months of that I do hope that they maybe do a gods themed one where they do the same thing but with gods I'd definitely be interested in that um, I'm not sure if it was something that they are going to do maybe in the future um, or maybe they weren't as popular um, the goddess boxes I'm not sure but I did really like them and um, I do hope we get th more things like that because I do like the sort of more like custom made like plaques and things they're not custom made but you know they're more exclusives um like I like the Sabbath balls that we had before and I like the um goddess plaques so I'd definitely be interested in things like that again in the future of these boxes but I definitely will continue to subscribe to this box because it is definitely a favourite of mine um but if there is any other boxes as well that you um, either get yourself or that you would highly recommend, I'd be very, very interested in those ones. So please let me know in the comments below. If you did like this video and you would like to see more unboxings from this um, company, then please make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Um, I tend to post these every month um, and that is my plan too. Um, for the foreseeable future. Um, and I do intend to hopefully get some more content out up up on this channel as well um so that is something else i will be doing as well i did almost forget actually i did say i was going to show you the books that i got for not the books but the folders that i got for the um buffy shadows pages so i got a couple of these ones these are like the display pocket books i think they also do have actual ring binders um on here but um this is the brand i haven't put a cover on yet but it's from this brand here i picked mine up off amazon um i will see if i can find the link for them and if i can then i'll put them in the information box below um but this one is more kind of like tied to the wheel of the year so this is kind of pages that we've had before in there so i just literally put all the information sheets in here so that's on here and then i think after this it goes into the goddesses that we had in the previous boxes and like their pages and stories and myths in there but this is um just in a display book so i've got pretty much all that in there and then i have like the um we had the elements boxes in the past as well so i've got those sheets in here as well um and then the other one in here is one that is more crystals and herbs at the minute but i think i might get another one of these and do one as completely crystals and the other one as completely herbs um and do it like that um and then we've got herbs there so it's not complete that's why there's a few kind of empty pockets here um these aren't the most convenient if you prefer to move things around obviously because you can't just pop the wallet out and put it in a different section you've got to kind of take everything out and then reslot it in pockets so it's not the most convenient in that way but i quite like this one because i was unsure whether the um a5 ones would fit the ring binders because i've seen people say that some of them are like a three ring binder um but they're not really that common in the uk we tend to have like two ring binders um and then the pocket uh, like the plastic pocket things to go in them are also two rings so if you have a three ring binder you've got to end up like popping holes in them as well um i got this one um from derwich smiths which is another a5 ring binder this is quite a basic one obviously it's just a clear one um i don't like this one as much i do prefer ones where you have like the black and then you can also put like an artwork cover in the front um but that's what i've put these ones in so this one is just more like the actual spells and rituals so it's a little bit more customizable than these ones but this is what i mean by the two rings and then these are two rings whereas the other ones that i saw on amazon were like a three ring one but like i say it would be awkward to find pockets that actually fit them or at least it looked like it was going to be when i was looking at them but these are obviously a little bit more convenient because you can move things around um but i'd get ones that maybe a little bit more 
nicer looking than this one i'm not bothered about it necessarily being nicer looking i just want it to be functional um with this one because i want something that's easy to kind of clean and this seemed like it would be easy to clean um if i got like oils or stuff spilt on it during rituals and stuff like that um so yeah but that's what i um have my stuff in my information sheets in so i'll be transferring these into them in a moment but yes so thank you for watching this video um and i will see you hopefully in another video shortly so bye bye for now